Have you ever wondered why the most memorable lessons from your childhood often come wrapped in a story? From the time humans began painting on cave walls, we've been passing down knowledge through stories. In fact, storytelling is such an integral part of our existence that it's often second nature. And in the realm of education, this ancient art form takes on a particularly important role. Imagine the classroom, a space where ideas take flight and young minds are molded. This is where storytelling truly shines. It's not just about narrating facts or regurgitating information. It's about weaving a rich tapestry of ideas, emotions, and experiences that resonate with learners on a deep personal level. But why does storytelling work so well in teaching? It's simple. Our brains are hardwired to process information in the form of narratives. Stories give context to abstract concepts, making them more relatable and easier to understand. They engage our emotions and stimulate our imagination, creating a lasting imprint on our memory. Psychologically speaking, storytelling taps into our inherent desire for connection. It bridges the gap between the teacher and the learner, fostering empathy and understanding. When a story is told, it's not just the content that's being shared, but also the emotions, the nuances, the subtle cues that make learning a rich, multi-dimensional experience. Moreover, storytelling and teaching isn't a one-way street. It's a dynamic process that encourages active participation in critical thinking. As learners immerse themselves in the narrative, they are not just passive recipients of knowledge. They become protagonists, embarking on a journey of discovery, problem-solving, and personal growth. So, the next time you step into a classroom, whether it's to teach or to learn, remember the power of storytelling. It's not just about imparting knowledge, it's about creating meaningful experiences that inspire, engage, and linger long after the lesson is over. Indeed, the art of storytelling has the power to transform even the most mundane lessons into exciting adventures. Consider the example of Mr. Smith, a middle school math teacher who was known as the math wizard. In the realm of numbers and equations, he reigned supreme. His classroom was a kingdom, where he was the benevolent ruler, guiding his subjects through the treacherous terrain of algebra, using the power of storytelling. Mr. Smith had a unique approach to teaching algebra. He wove intricate tales of a wizard who used mathematical spells to solve problems. Each spell was a different algebraic concept, and the problems were the challenges that the wizard faced. For instance, the wizard might encounter a dragon hoarding gold, and the only way to defeat it would be to use a spell that required solving a particularly tricky equation. Now you might be thinking, what does a dragon have to do with algebra? But that's the beauty of Mr. Smith's approach. By framing algebraic concepts within a story, he made them more relatable and engaging. His students weren't just solving equations, they were helping the wizard defeat dragons and save the kingdom. The impact of this teaching style was remarkable. Students who had previously struggled with algebra found themselves captivated by the adventures of the math wizard. Their performance improved significantly, and they were more engaged in the classroom. They were no longer just memorizing formulas, they were understanding the concepts behind them and seeing how they could be applied in different situations. Mr. Smith's students began to view algebra not as a chore, but as a tool, a magical language that could be used to solve problems. They saw the beauty and the logic in the numbers and equations, and they began to appreciate the subject in a way they never had before. In this way, Mr. Smith's story of the math wizard breathed life into algebra. His innovative approach transformed it from a dry and daunting subject into a rich and vibrant world, filled with challenges to overcome and puzzles to solve. Algebra was no longer a subject to fear, but an adventure to be enjoyed. It became more relatable and accessible to his students, and they carried the lessons they learned from the math wizard with them, long after they left Mr. Smith's classroom. Next, let's journey into Mrs. Johnson's history class, where history wasn't just taught, it was experienced. Imagine stepping into a classroom where each lesson is a new adventure, a journey back to a different era. This is the world Mrs. Johnson created for her students. She was not merely a history teacher, but a master storyteller, using narratives to bring the past to life. Every class was an opportunity to hop aboard her history time machine and explore the past, from the dusty pages of a textbook to the vivid reality of a bygone era. Mrs. Johnson's method was simple yet effective, she would choose a significant historical event, and then, like a painter with a canvas, she would recreate it with her words. 
she would describe the sights, the sounds, the smells, and the emotions, providing a sensory experience that made her students feel like they were right there, living the event in real time. She would weave in stories of real people who lived during those times, their struggles, their triumphs, their fears and hopes. These narratives were not just about dates and battles but about human experiences, about the shared thread of humanity that runs through the tapestry of history. The impact of this approach was remarkable. Students who were once disinterested in history found themselves eagerly anticipating the next class, the next journey back in time. Grades improved, not just because students were remembering facts better but because they were now actively engaged in the learning process. They were not just memorizing dates, they were understanding contexts, empathizing with characters, and seeing the relevance of history in their own lives. History became more than a subject, it became a living, breathing entity. The walls of the classroom dissolved, replaced by the landscapes of ancient civilizations, the cobblestone streets of medieval towns, the battlefields of great wars. With her vivid narratives, Mrs. Johnson didn't just teach history, she made her students live it. And through this immersive approach, she showed them that history is not just about the past but also about understanding our present and shaping our future. Lastly, we delve into the world of Mr. Patel, a high school science teacher who turned his students into detectives. Meet Mr. Patel, not your average science teacher. Rather than dryly explaining scientific concepts, he spins tales of mystery and intrigue, inviting his students to step into the shoes of a detective. Mr. Patel has a knack for transforming complex scientific theories into gripping narratives. Imagine a crime scene, a mysterious substance left behind. The students, as detectives, must use their knowledge of chemistry to identify the substance and solve the mystery. What could have been a mundane lesson about chemical reactions suddenly becomes a thrilling quest for answers. This isn't just a fun deviation from the norm, it's an effective teaching strategy. Mr. Patel's science detective stories offer a practical application of scientific knowledge, making the concepts more relatable and easier to understand. The narratives also make the learning process interactive, as students actively participate in the investigation, fostering a sense of collaboration and teamwork. But perhaps the most significant impact of Mr. Patel's method is how it sparks curiosity among his students. As they unravel the mysteries in the narratives, they're encouraged to ask questions, to probe deeper. This curiosity isn't just confined to the science classroom, it seeps into their everyday lives prompting them to question, to explore, to seek knowledge. In essence, Mr. Patel's science detective stories are more than just a teaching tool, they're a catalyst for a lifelong love of learning. They transform science from a subject to be learned to a world to be discovered. And that's the power of pedagogical narratives. They're not just about imparting knowledge, they're about inspiring curiosity, fostering a love for learning, and making education a thrilling adventure. By turning his students into detectives, Mr. Patel made the pursuit of scientific knowledge an exhilarating adventure. So, what can we learn from these teachers and their storytelling methods? Storytelling, it seems, is not just for bedtime or campfires. It's a powerful educational tool, a secret weapon in the hands of the skilled educator. The benefits are multifold and span across subjects, grade levels, and learning styles. First and foremost, storytelling aids in memory retention. Our brains are wired to remember stories. We recall characters, their motivations, the twists and turns of the plot. When information is presented as a narrative, it becomes more than a collection of facts. It turns into a story that's easier to remember, easier to recall. Next, we have engagement. It's no secret that a good story can captivate an audience regardless of age. The suspense, the drama, the humor, all these elements keep students hooked, making learning an active and engaging process. They're no longer passive recipients of information. They're participants in a story, eager to know what happens next. But the benefits of storytelling don't end there. It also fosters critical thinking skills. As students follow the narrative, they're not just absorbing information. They're making connections, drawing conclusions, predicting outcomes. They're analyzing characters, evaluating their actions, and learning to see things from different perspectives. These storytelling techniques can be applied across different subjects. In math, stories can turn abstract concepts into tangible problems. In history, they can transport students back in time, letting them experience events firsthand. In science, they can turn complex theories into fascinating mysteries waiting to be solved. And this isn't just for elementary students. Even at the higher levels, storytelling can transform dry, textbook information into compelling narratives that resonate with students. Because at the end of the day, 
we're all storytellers, we all have stories to tell, and we all have stories we want to hear. As we've seen from our case studies, a well-told story can turn a simple lesson into a memorable journey, making the learning process not just effective, but also enjoyable.